Hi YouTube. So today we're up in Alachua County because I got gator tags for this area. I don't know why I applied for this area. Watch that. Dude, my girlfriend's from this area. I figured I could combine family trips and hunting trips. Maybe it was a bad idea. But either way, I got the tags. I paid the 275 bucks. So we're going to make the best of it. So we're up here and here is my boat. And you guys may have seen a video about this boat. And, uh, <clears throat> but I haven't shown you guys the full setup. So I've got the uh, uh, Harbor Freight uh, Predator 420 engine, bone stock on there. I've got the Swamp Runner SPS kit on here. And this is the front deck that I made a video about um <clears throat> got my got pretty much everything that you'll need on one of these boats i've got a um headlight up front a spotlight i've got my nav lights got my trolling motor <clears throat> and uh, i have my anchor light which plugs in right here and i did it this way because this way it's up high so that when I'm running through grass and stuff like that, it's easier for people to see me. So, anyway, <clears throat> um, under these hatches, I've got my battery right there, and then uh, I've got my life jackets and all that stuff in there too. So, so we're uh, we're ready to rock and roll. But before we get going, I just wanted to point out this boat is sitting on the trailer backwards. Now, the reason for this is because. Uh, this trailer was cheap and since a John boat has a flat bottom I figured might as well get a cheap trailer because it can sit on a utility trailer and I can use the trailer for other things too so today I'm going to show you that even though it is a bit of a pain in the ass you can you can launch and retrieve your boat backwards using a utility trailer if any of you guys have been thinking about doing it and i'm going to show you what i have found to be the best way to do it um launching is particularly easy um whereas retrieving is kind of a pain in the butt but uh i'll just show you how i got it strapped down you can see i'm using a lot of straps here so because i don't have like a safety chain on here i just wanted to make sure this thing wasn't going anywhere so i've got one strap up here that goes through the handles this strap right here make sure the boat can't slide backwards <clears throat> and then i've got a strap attached to each side running down and attaching to the trailer back here and this prevents the boat from sliding forward if i slam on the brakes and uh just for added measure i have another strap right there that also prevents it from sliding backwards <clears throat> now as you can tell my trailer is not quite as long as the handle on my motor so I actually tie this up um, so when I'm running on the highway it's not like catching all the wind um, but because my trailer or my truck is kind of lifted up the trailer's at enough of an angle that this handle clears my tailgate so it actually works out pretty good uh, alternatively uh, you could take the handle off and just lay it down in the boat reattach it when you get there that's what danny does with his but this works out pretty good for me so uh anyway next stop will be at the boat ramp i'll show you how to launch these things and uh once the boat's off the trailer i'll show you kind of how i set that up and then uh we're gonna run around a little bit and see how this setup works all right so we just got to the boat ramp i'm just gonna get the boat ready to launch it so Come check out the way that I have this set up. What I do with the motor, in order to be able to keep the handle up high on that side so that it goes over the tailgate, I actually um, twist the shaft so that it lays flat down here. This is obviously not upright. This is supposed to be turned 90 degrees. You just loosen the shaft right there and just simply 
twist it and get it lined up so it's straight up and down and then just tighten these back down. So before I launch it, I'm going to take off three of the straps and I'm just going to leave the one on the back on there until the boat is in the water. Launching when you have your boat on the trailer backwards is actually really easy, especially when you have super slick on the bottom. If you want to see a video about how I put that on, you can click right up here. So basically, because of the super slick, as soon as this comes loose, it's going to want to slide right off. So you want to make sure you grab a hold of this handle before you undo this ratchet strap. And it doesn't take much resistance to prevent it from sliding, but you definitely want to be holding it. Check it out. Once you give it a nudge, it just wants to go. Back at the boat ramp, <clears throat> I've got the um, the shaft turned sideways already, so it fits under there nicely, and we're ready to pull it out. So I'm going to show you how I have found is the easiest way to get this thing onto a trailer backwards, because it's not as easy as when it goes on forwards. Like I said, this is a cheap Harbor Freight trailer. Um, now you may have noticed when I was dropping the boat in, I just barely touched the back of the trailer to the water. When you're putting it back up, you actually need it to be a little deeper because you got to be able to get the uh, the transom, like the bottom of the transom, over the bunks. Um, now, I always have the problem if it's too steep, I have to back in a little bit further. And my bunks are actually not attached to the trailer. See? Um, and there's a reason for that. And I'll cover that in another video. Um, I'll explain why I have that set up that way. But in any case, it's a problem for me, but if you attach them to, to your trailer, less of a problem. So. Pull up your pants as high as you can get them. And John boats have like the little ridges on the bottom and they, these just happen to line up perfectly uh, between these two bunks. So you just want to line them up and kind of just start sliding it back. Now this is significantly easier with two people. In fact, it's really easy with two people, but I want to show you how you can do it if you don't have another person. So grab a hold of these two and just start pulling your boat back. So just attach your edge strap and then as you pull it out and your boat lays down then you can make the adjustments afterwards. I just need to move it forward a couple inches. But see now I'm right at the end of my bunks. I can put all the straps on and this boat won't go anywhere. Now if like me you think that looked like a pain in the butt, you're absolutely right. But the point is, it is possible for you to take your John boat on a utility trailer and run it backwards like this. It just takes a little more effort than if you have a proper boat trailer. But if you're interested in seeing how you can transform this trailer into uh, a boat trailer, and basically all you need for that is you need the tongue to be longer so the boat can go around the other way. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed because I actually have all the parts that I'm going to do that with, and I'm going to show you how you can get it done. So click that subscribe button 
And if you're interested in any of our other videos about John boats, hunting, fishing, anything outdoorsy in Florida, you can click them all around here. I'm gonna get this thing strapped down and get the heck out of here.